welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel whichever way I'm glad you're here um, my name is Joanna if you haven't seen me before um, glad to have you stop by um, this is a little different um, my daughter wanted me to do a before and after of my craft room I recently went out of business I posted a video saying um, prior to this one what I was doing and why I haven't posted a DIY in a while so now she said well you should post your room before and after so that is what I'm doing um, I don't know how long the video is gonna be so let's just jump right into it okay okay right here is where my embroidery machine was on the bench from Harbor Freight and I had my thread on peg hooks and this is where my ribbon was stored on the CD media towers on my desk. This is um, all my vinyl that I didn't even, I condensed down to one. This is my black desk that I now craft on that had my machines on and granny that had my black beauty machine and these are my sergers and my other machine that are now on a shelf and I took that desk to the other side of the room man what a mess now I am making um, oh I'm showing you this I got this from the Dollar Tree it's that backsplash that you put behind your stoves y'all I didn't have no luck with it I don't know if I was doing it wrong or what but it wrinkled it was terrible it looked awful I put contact paper on my walls um, to keep me from getting paint on it these are two shelves from my media tower I took one apart and I'm just taking wood glue and I am gluing these together to make one board because I want to put this board on the wall into studs and screw something into it instead of um, screwing the uh, whiteboard in it because I think it would be more stable so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my dry erase whiteboard on there. Now I'm going to take um, craft sticks when I squish it all together here and feel confident, I guess, <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, okay, I'm going to take my craft sticks. I call them tongue depressors, um, but they're craft sticks. I think, I don't know if I got these at the Dollar Tree or um, Lowe's. I may have gotten them at Lowe's, I don't remember. But anyways, I'm going to put three on here a long ways to secure it. Okay, so I took a stud finder and I found my studs. And then I screwed this board directly into where my studs were. That way I know that it would be secure. I put one screw in, now I'm using a sewing tool and I'm going to figure out how far I screwed that down I'll show you the tool in a minute I think I'm not real sure what I'm doing here kinda looks like I'm picking my nose but I know I'm not oh no I'm not there's the tool okay now I am gonna run that um, blue plastic piece down to where that screw is that way I know that you know it's a marker um, to where I go and put my other screw. I got so much junk in the floor, it wasn't even funny. This was when I didn't have it all together and I was putting it together. So I'm just gonna mark it. I have a chalk marker and I marked it. Okay, now I'm just hanging up my um, dry erase board. Okay, now I've got a piece of a cork board that I had, and I am going to use command strips on the back um, to hang it up. And I will tell you now, that was an epic fail. The command strips did not hold. So I took, um, there's me putting the command strips on. Um, but I used um, some foam tape made by the original super glue I got it at the Dollar Tree 
Okay, now I'm just putting my push pins in. And these were custom made by me. Um, they were little trinkets that I got probably at Hobby Lobby. And then I just took E6000 and put them on clear um, push pins and let them dry for 24 hours. And now I have my little decorative push pins with buttons and sewing um, things. I'm showing you up close. All right. Now I'm going to take and I need to put these paint brushes in something. And every time I put them in this, they all got mixed up. So I'm being um, a genius here and I've got a bunch of toilet paper roll things. And I'm going to paint them the same color or close to the same color as my um, basket. So now I've got the toilet paper holders and I had a bunch of them. So I'm trying to figure out which size was which. And um, I am going to squish them. And then put them, see, they're squished. <laughs> and I'm going to squish them down. I use the wider ones. I have two different kinds. I don't, I don't know. We buy various toilet papers. But anyway, I had wider ones and I put those in the middle because that spot was bigger. And then I put the skinnier ones on the side because that just made sense. <laughs> and then um, I separated my brushes and then I was able to put them in there. Oh, and I had some tools that went in the front. My favorite little pink things from the Dollar Tree and then my um, makeup spatula that I used to push down hot glue and... Okay, here I have a 48 inch ruler and I want it on my table, but I don't want it moving around. So I have this double sided tape. It is paper tape and that stuff is strong. I love it. I got it at a hardware store, local hardware store. So, I mean, I don't know if you can get it. I don't have nowhere to link it or anything like that, but that stuff is sturdy and I just put it on there and then put it down. And here I am showing you I am tired of this big gaudy thing being on the wall. It's got all my buttons in it though. So I'm going to take it down and I'm going to redo this to put my buttons in. Um, because I can't, like I said, I can't stand that thing on the wall no more. It is annoying. I've had it forever and it has got a lot of compartments. But, you know, it's it's just not for me anymore. So I'm going to use this thing. Those things won't fit, so I have to work on them. Lord, that was fast. Um, this is my uh, thread thing that I made. I'm going to take it apart and paint it. I take things apart and use things off of machines and stuff like that. And this is just what I did at one time and used dowel rods and made me a thread stand because I didn't want to pay for one. I'm, I'm cheap, what can I say? So I'm just taking this off and um I don't want it painted so I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to paint it with my favorite um 2x I think it's ocean mist uh spray paint from rust-oleum now I'm outside and I'm on my rickety porch and I'm going to paint these things there I go that is a shower caddy I got from the Dollar Tree I'm going to use it uh in my room for storage I'll show you in the done video. Okay, here is my um, little button thing all painted. And I'm using these shears I get at the Dollar Tree. They come out in the spring. And these things I love, y'all. I use them for a lot of things. So I'm just going to take and snip the handles off of these because that's what's stopping them from going down into the tote. So I'm snipping all these off. I sped it up so you didn't have to sit through this agony, but I did want to show you that um, when you snip these things off and you stick them in a certain way, um, three of them will fit in there nicely. So that's what I done. And I did this to um, three in each section or each drawer 
Okay, so this is the room now. Gonna try not to make you sick by moving around too much. If y'all hear the noise, my husband is watching a movie. So anyways, I'll explain stuff separately. Okay, first of all, this is my vinyl. My vinyl is in the shelves, labeled. Then this is what I used to have my embroidery machine on. And all my thread was on peg hooks. And I turned it into uh, my vinyl spot now. In the bins below, I have my transfer papers and, you know, stuff like that. And then in that top drawer on that cabinet, I have my heat press pillows. And then on the bottom corner where the tote is with the green handle is, um, oh my goodness, temporary vinyl. And the one on top is permanent vinyl. I have my Cameo 3 on top and my heat press tape. Over here I have my cutting mats for my silhouette, my Cameo 3. My Cameo mats are hung up by command strips. I have my Cricut Joy in that purple bag on the top. And in the purple thing I have um, tools for my Cricut Joy in the little green tote. I have my sewing stuff that's travel to go to my daughters or wherever and then I have my sublimation machine my inks up top my computer that is for all the printers and the cameo and then I have my office with my um this is where I did the boards and put the cork board on there but I did change the cork board out because the command strips um fell off so I had to use um something else from um it was tape oh my gosh I can't even think now it was tape strips from the Dollar Tree oh the original super glue tapes okay there's my one machine and yes she works and I love her there's the wall where I painted one of the buttons and I hung my, um, y'all, I can't think and I can't even talk at this point. Um, you know, my grids, I don't even know what they are right now, but y you know what they are. There's my favorite thing in the room right there on the top. And that's my boom box I got from a nephew a hundred years ago. Um, in that colored drawer is all of my embroidery thread. I put all my machines that was on my black desk on this um, plastic thing. There is the tote that I painted on the top of it with all of my buttons in there. Then I have another ruler. Let me change angles. I have another ruler. Um with one of the buttons I painted and my regular thread and then I have my machine my baby lock um, embroidery sewing machine on top of my great granny singer treadle and yes she works and I just want to show y'all see that decal I made that decal for this machine this machine sat under this decal for years uh, Pretty much ever since I got her, so I thought that was kind of cool. I made a decal like her. There's the thread stand. Um, and if y'all put a command hook, you can hang your snippers right on your machine. I have them on all of my machines. Y'all, this is my ironing station, and it has seen better days, I promise. But um, it needs recovered. But anyways, there's patterns in some of those drawers. I have my rotary blades and various things stored in there. I cleaned all the patterns out of there and put more stuff in there that was, you know, stuff that I use. I have my scissors on. There is a wood door under this um, table on a desk. 
and I got it at Lowe's years ago, and then I got my two mats. Actually, this is a sign that came from a state park. Um, I found it somewhere, and um, probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, I got my mats on a piece of metal. I believe it was an old sign. I don't know. It's been painted. But anyways, I got my trash under there and my stool. Under the desk here, I have my wood in here now. So I don't have to go chasing it down. All the signs that I get from the Dollar Tree and the crates and all that are in there. There's my tools on my pegboard. And over to the one side, you can see by the iron and the ironing board is the shower caddy that I painted. It holds my scissors, my water for my iron, my 505 temporary spray, and my water bottle. And then I have all of my tools on my toolbox where my heat press used to be. In the bottom drawer, I have my sanding stuff and my commands and my wood filler. In the top one, uh, my husband said I have a problem. Um, there's all my washi tape, my tape, my double-sided tape, my glues, my Mod Podges. You know, all the sticky, tacky, junky stuff is right in that drawer. And then I have my clips and some tools in this one. And then there's extra tools in the top there. I have a power cord mounted with the tape that I was telling you about. Hold on, I'll show you. This, y'all, it is the bomb. But once it sticks, it sticks. It holds up to 20 pounds. And it is permanent. And I love it. I use it a lot. All my tools are hung on peg hooks. And then I hung a metal magnet strip from Harbor Freight on there. There are two holes to screw it in. So I stuck the holes over the peg hooks and then stuck all my tools on there. These are, well, the shelves are a CD media, whatever tower that I had on my desk that had ribbon in it. And I took one apart and made shelves for this. And I painted that, uh, I painted the shelves, of course. I mean, the baskets on the shelves. And then I painted a cup holder that I found at a thrift store and hung my scissors and my rotary cutter on there. I have my mat with my glass over it so I don't have to keep taking it off and on. I have my main glue gun. There is the caddy that I put my paintbrushes in and um, made that. That's a dishwasher thing. This is my L desk that had my all of my machines. I have bins under the bottom with various um, craft supplies in there. My mints, of course, on the desk. Sorry if y'all hear my husband. Like I said, he's watching, watching something. Okay, I'm going to move up here. I didn't shut you off. Okay, this board is a pallet board, and I sanded it down and whitewashed it. Those little bins on the side, the little buckets from the Dollar Tree. And I put my pencils and stuff in that one. And then I got these washer, dishwasher things from dishwashers we've had. And I just kept these little baskets. And they hold all my glues, my glue guns. I took the, uh, I took the bags and cut out the name and what glue stick it was and I took my glue stick and glued it on and you know that shows me what glue is what so I don't get them mixed up especially the fabric and the wood sticks and then this basket holds my jewel setter and my wood burner y'all this is funny that's my magic weight loss beans. 
Somebody gave me them a long time ago. I thought it was hilarious. This is my picture that I painted in art class when I was in ninth grade, I think it was. I still have it. Sorry about the light. And then this I got from my sister. There's my bag holder. And this is one of my media towers that had ribbon on it. And it now holds all of my paint and I love it. One last look. My shelf with my little dolls I made. That's my first bear I made. My daughter thought it was a monkey. Well, it's a lot better now, ain't it? <laughs> At least I think so. I, I love it. I like what I did with the color. I don't, I used to love purple. Now it's mint or whatever that color is. I don't even know, but I love it. Um, especially mixed with the purple. But, uh, Anyways, um, I hope that something that I have done or put together will inspire you for your craft room. And um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to stick around, hit that bell, and you'll be notified when I upload videos. And um, all your likes and subscribes and comments help my channel to grow, and I, I truly appreciate that. Um, with all that being said, till next time.